Okay, for this last portion of this uh, video, I went ahead and opened a few more palettes up to kind of make it a little bit easier to uh, show you guys. First one's going to be History View. Now, with Mar, you do have a ton of undos. Also, you can uh, navigate to whatever portion of your history you want to go to. And also, if you left click and, and then you turn around and move your model, it will empty your history. So let's go ahead and move on from there. Now you have your image manager. Now you're going to use images within your texturing uh, workflow. So there's a few ways you can import images into Mari. First one, you can go ahead and double click and just select it. Hit open. You can right click open. And does the same thing here. But the easiest way for me is just navigate to your textures and you can drag and drop. All right, let me go ahead and select this one. And as you see on the bottom, it has all your information about your textures. If you double click it, your texture will come up. And then also you can use filters. You can actually edit your images within Mari. So let's go ahead and hit filters and then we'll go to, let's say levels. Um, you can save presets if you need to. Um, you can also uh, adjust whatever color component, and you have all these white point, mid mid tone, black point, and such. And I'll just go ahead and make this really bad looking here. Okay, so let's say that's what uh, what you're looking for. Um, you got to make sure. The main thing you got to make sure is make sure apply to is on your selected images. You do have an option for current painting and current paint target. Um, you do also have an option to use a mask and then just make sure your previews on. Okay. And as you see, it did not edit your master. What it did is actually duplicated it and saved all your settings on a uh, duplicate texture. So you can right click that after you select it and save as. And you can also close it. Okay, so we'll go ahead and move on towards to selection groups. Scoot this over. And left-hand toolbar is going to be, the, the first tool is going to be your uh, select items. And so upper toolbar, you have three options here. You have object mode, you have patch mode, and then you have face mode. So object mode, obviously, is going to select the whole object. Patch mode, now if you go into UVs, and let's say you have several UVs that you want to make a, you know, one of them you want to make a selection group out of, all you have to do is select that and then hit the plus. From there, you can uh, hide it, lock it, and then left click will select it. Let's go back to ortho. Now, the last one's going to be face mode. Now you have a rectangle, so rectangular uh, selection mode, lasso, and then you have smart selection. So let's go to a rectangular, rect I can't say that word, rectangular. And let's say you just want to select. If I can move this where I want it. Okay, scoot this over. That's how you want to select that. Now, as you see, it did not go all the way through. Now, that's where this uh, mode is here. You have through mode or front. So if I went to through, and as you see, it selected the whole thing, or that whole portion I wanted to. Now, you do have uh, the option to grow your selection. Shrink it. You also can invert it, and then you can do none or all. Now, the last mode I like is the uh, smart selection mode. Um, smart selection type, you have uh, connecting this, edge angles, and orientation. I just leave it on the default. And as you see, it selected that whole portion of the tongue. Now, let's say you wanted to save that as a selection, a selection group. Just hit the play, the uh, plus sign, and it will come up. And let's deselect it. Okay. 
left click it and you can select it. So like I said, you can, uh, if you right click, you can go to uh, high selected, hide, or hide unselected, selected, and so on. Comes in quite handy. Okay, let's move on to objects. Now, I previously showed you how to um, add a version, which is just right click. You can add a version, um, add a version with the eyeballs. And now once it comes in, it's gonna still stay at the version that you were at. You actually have to go down to this uh, little tab here and select it. Now you can add an object and um, let's add the branch. And uh, it's in the wrong spot because I moved it within Modo. But as you see, it uh, it came in as needed. Just a little placement error on my part. But you can uh, lock them, unlock them. You can hide them, unhide them, and so on. Okay. Scoot this over. Okay, let's go to the right-hand side here. It is going to be your color palette. Um, it's similar to the palette on this left hand side here you can uh do your color picker get your values image gray hsv so on now to get back to the default colors all you have to hit is d and then x will alternate foreground background okay let's talk about lights now you have four lights um you can change the specular color diffuse you can have them actually fixed to the camera or the scene. You can shut them off. You also can move them. And as you see, it's kind of dark on the bottom portion of this model. Okay, and you can uh, move them, texture it. And then if you want to get back to, to the default area, all you have to do is hit the R. But like I said, you can shut all of them off. and adjust them as needed. Okay, let's move on to the brush editor palette. So you have three tabs, you have your properties of your brush, and as you see, uh, let me go ahead and do the spacing. And as you see on this little sandbox on the bottom portion, it will show you uh, what your adjustments will look like. You also have your shelves tab, which is a menu, personal shelf, basic brushes, hard surface, organic. Let me scoot this over. Brad's new brushes and project. Now let's go ahead and go. First thing I want to talk about is going to be the menu. Now, if you hit F9, you see that you have this little pie menu come up. Now you only have black and white color up here at this time. Let me go ahead and go blue, red. All you have to do is left click, drag and drop. You can also uh, do brushes as well, and in order to use a lot, utilize this, you actually have to number them. I believe you have all the way up to seven. So if you hit and hold and F9, uh, hit and hold F9 again, as you see, all my colors are up there, and also you have the erase as well. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to the personal shelf. Now, personal shelf, you can uh, actually hold colors, brushes textures in here um, all you have to do is right click you can save it load it import shelf you also can delete items save items and load items and then uh, here is your standard brushes now in order to import brushes uh, actually import photoshop brushes all you have to do is go to tools import brushes and i'll go ahead and import that one Depending on the size, usually only takes uh, a few seconds here and there. And we will navigate. And here are the, uh, this is the brush set I just imported. Scroll that down. And as you see, it's a bad brush for uh, showing, but you get the idea. Now, these are your presets that, uh, on the preset tab, these are your presets that actually come within Mari. All right, let's go back to the shelves. And I'm going to just kind of show you how to save a brush. Okay, let's go to properties, go to spacing. 
and you can uh, have different options of it um, pressure sensitivity, colors, radius, flow, alpha. And you have all these settings. You can put noise in the brush. And let's say that's what you want. So all you have to go to shelves, menu, you hit the plus sign, and as you see, your brush that you just edited is right there. And all you have to do is just uh, right click and save your shelf. Now, you also, and let's say, um, out of this whole set, you only wanted to save one brush. You edited it and then you saved it to your shelf. Now, you can remove this particular tab by just hitting that upper right hand X, hit OK, and then you have your tab gone. OK, I think that pretty much is about it for the uh, for the palettes and shelves at this particular time. And uh, next video, We'll dive into the toolbars. I'll go over the uh, top portion and the left portion, and uh, we'll go from there. See you then.